Hey guys, this is DJ Cube here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. I love how I keep saying hi guys, this is DJ Cube, but really I'm playing video games, so I really should be, like, the game, like, gamer Cube or something. Something like that. Um, I, unfortunately I'm in a bit of competition here, right off the bat. And yeah, I, I'm just gonna let him steal those. I, I'm gonna go to the top. Oh, uh, never mind. Um, so... I recently thought of a story that I could tell, you know, because my videos are really boring. I have nothing to talk about. So, a few years ago, in like 2013, uh, no, not 2013, I mean 20, 2016, um, we went to Florida over Christmas, and um, I think most of you guys know where that is, but for those of you who don't, uh, that's a state in like southeast of uh, the United States. Um, so we went over there. And it was I didn't like it because you know like Christmas it kind of lose I kind of lose that Christmas spirit if you're like from like a place that gets a lot of snow or like a really cold area. Um, so like where I live in Boston is usually around like it's usually around like two or three degrees like at this time of year. Um, so like. When we went down over there, it was it was really hot, and it kind of just I felt like it just we just lost that like whole Christmas spirit because like it was like very tropical, it was very warm and stuff. And I have a friend who just recently went down there, and I was I was texting them, and they're like, oh yeah, it's pretty nice down there. It's like oh cool, but um for me I just feel like I just never be satisfied on um, going down to Florida because um during Christmas break because you know like. Wait, where am I? Oh, uh, because you know, I, I I like I like staying home during the Christmas break, and I, I like just you know staying here and kind of celebrating at home. Uh, and we didn't get that, so I I was quite disappointed. Uh, we left on the 23rd, and we got back on the 28th. So basically, that meant that um we were gone for five days, and. One thing I noticed was like, it was like maybe two degrees below zero when we left. But then like, once we got to Florida, like it was nighttime, like it was like maybe seven o'clock at night when we got down in Florida and it was 15 degrees. Um, and so my friends, they, they told me that um, it was like, I don't know, it was like maybe 15 to 20 degrees. Um, all this is in Celsius, by the way, not Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit, um, in stupid units, it's probably like, I don't know, 60 at 75 degrees, I don't know, uh, 59 or 68, something like that, that's the exact conversion, but, um, anyways, so what happened was that, um, we got to, um, Florida at night, and it was around 15 degrees, and it was really bad already, like, it was too hot, um, oh, great, Windows gave me a notification, um, so I was like, man, I can't do this anymore. So I, I had to turn on the AC. But the thing is, my father doesn't like the AC because he 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 likes the warm weather. Because my father grew up in a place that was really hot. Like he was from like he's from like uh, this place like Shandong, which is like this really hot place. It's like 35 degrees in the sun, summer. So he is used to that kind of weather. Um, and I'm not. I grew up where Boston's like. It's like usually 28, 30 degrees tops, like in the summer. Or like, usually it's like 27, 28 degrees in the summer. And so, yeah, so that's that's what I'm used to. It's like, I grew up in the cold, like where I am here in Boston, where I like maybe latitudes, maybe like maybe 33 degrees latitude. Um, so yeah. Going into Florida, like, we didn't turn on the AC, so it was like maybe like 25, 26 degrees down in the hotel as well. And it was horrible, I swear. It was like the worst trip ever. First of all, we go down to Florida, which is like within the US, which I don't I don't like traveling within the US anyways in the first place. But then it was over Christmas break, which means that we completely lose Christmas spirit. And also the other thing, too, is that we have to completely change our, like, weather, uh, like, homeostasis, that kind of stuff, so... That made it even more difficult, and that was super annoying. I didn't like it, and... My parents were like, oh, okay, we won't do this next year. And we didn't go to Florida the following year, but, uh, we went to Washington, D.C. 
But anyway, so wa uh, um, not Washington D.C. Oh, uh, Florida. We went to Orlando, and Orlando is pretty nice. I went, I've been there twice. I went once when I was in fifth grade, like two weeks before um Christmas that that year. And what happened was that um, ooh, I, try, I tried snowballing that guy. Okay, good thing I didn't. What I what I ended up doing was that um. We went to the Magical Kingdom, which my parents figured that I would enjoy still as a child, like during my childhood, and that is so true. If I went back to the Magic Kingdom today, I'd be really bored. I'd be like, boo, this is boring. But, um, luckily I wasn't like that, because that was like, what, like 12, 11 at the time? So, yeah. Um, we went to the Animal Kingdom, then we went to um, Hollywood Studios. And I think it was called Hollywood Studios and Epcot. Um, all these are really great places. I just didn't really, uh, I wasn't in the mood for any of that because it was like 24, 25 degrees and like, you know, the middle of December, or late December, where I'm used to it being, I'm used to the temperature being like at most like five degrees in the, in the summer. Um, I, I mean, I mean the winter. So yeah, it was. It was really difficult to get used to, and I can't make this far jump at all. Is this is this how I get up? H how do I get up here? Uh, so yeah, and and essentially, um, you know, it was just it was just like sudden change in temperature, and it was like, and it was like there's like no snow at all. So all the Christmas like spirit over down there is like hot like tropical stuff um it would have been it was like you know there'd, there'd be like some like some like caribbean music it was all the all the music was like was well, like Car caribbeanized or something i don't know i don't know how to use it it was like all like caribbean style um yeah that tropical kind of feel uh i didn't like it in the way that like it just didn't it's just not what i'm used to and i understand like yeah in different parts of the world it's different Oh, by the way, I'm recording this, like, late at night, like, 10 o'clock p.m. So, yeah, my parents might get mad at me for recording, but, um, I really just want to get this recording done. Uh, I, I missed three presents, but there's nothing I can do about that. Um, yeah, it's like... It, it didn't even feel like Christmas. It felt, it felt like we just completely skipped Christmas for a year. And it doesn't help when, like... It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't help when, like, everything takes forever to get to, like, we went to, like, the John F. Kennedy, or, like, the Space Center, and that took, like, an hour to get there. We saw, um, the motorway that leads all the way to, like, where I live here in Boston. Um, it was, like, Interstate 95, which is, like, or, that was, that was, like, that's close to the motorway I live by. But, um, yeah, so essentially, it would take, it took us, like, I don't know, maybe like half an hour to get from our hotel to like, to like Hollywood Studios. Um, there was like a free shuttle bus that took us there, but like, then there's like long queues of like waiting and waiting. And like, no matter what we do, like we went to this Epcot and there's this giant like sphere, which um, had like a, kind of like a, kind of a roller coaster like thing. Uh, it wasn't really a roller coaster, like, but um... You, get, you guys get the idea. It was like a really slow move down, maybe like three kilometers an hour. And and then um, we waited in, in line for like 20 minutes. So we had to queue up for like, from like the very hot heat. And again, keep in mind that this was like maybe 26 degrees outside. Uh, when I'm, when I would be used to um, like three degree weather. And so, then it was like, after getting through the line, it's like, it was like, okay, then we get inside. It wasn't any cooler. There was like no air conditioning. And it was like, it was horrible. And then like, and then we went around like, it was so much like walking, so much waiting. Basically, you're just always waiting for stuff. And then like, getting inside line system was, was like, such a pain. Because like... There's always be something wrong, like either like, oh your ticket's not working, or like, oh we forgot to get something. So that was no fun. 
I did like the Epcot thing because there's like stories from all different like parts of the world. So there's like Mexico, Japan, China, France, Canada, I think. I think Canada as well. Norway, which if you know me, you, you know that I love Norway. I've never been there, but I really love the country, uh, like, just culturally, I guess. Um, I think, like, Germany was in there as well, I'm not sure, but there are, like, so many countries. Um, so it was really cool in that regards, but just, again, it was just so much, like, it was just so much, like, waiting and so crowded and such. Then we went to, like, the Hollywood Studios, which I think was, like, a 20-minute taxi ride. And it's, like, you know, because, like, there's, like, traffic jams on the motorways and such, and, like, on streets. So, like, just a constant traffic jams, constant waiting, um, constant, you know, heat. And it was just no fun in that regard. Um, I did some research a few years ago, I, I noticed, like, just, okay. So in the southern hemisphere, when it's summer, right? Like, their Christmas is gonna be a little bit different as well. So I've noticed that, like... So, like, Christmas in, like, the warmer parts of the world are gonna be, like... Pretty much celebrate, like, maybe how the U.S. celebrates. Yeah. Uh, on the 4th of July. In, in that, um, it's hot and such. No, like, they don't... They probably don't, like, have fireworks or, like, ice cream or barbecue or any of that. But, like... It's like warm heat and stuff, which, okay, if I got used to that, I'd probably really enjoy it, but I'm not used to that, so I don't enjoy that. Um, so, okay, this person's stolen. Alright, so it says there's four more presents in here, which I honestly don't know where these would be, but I guess we could just look in here. Oh, one, two, okay, I found two, oh, three. And then there's one more in here, which I could not find. Hmm. Oh yeah, I genuinely don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. Is it here? It's gotta be somewhere over here. No, it's down there. Oh well. Uh, I'm not, I'm not gonna, just gonna spend time looking for that, but yeah, that was me rant- Oh my goodness, no one has got inside this house? Okay, well I'll go inside and I'll steal the presents in here, except there's like no easy way to get in here. Uh, I'm probably not gonna be able to get the presents here in this house actually. Yeah, no, that's just not gonna happen. Oh, that wasn't even the right house, I meant to go for- the one, like, over there. Uh, okay. Oh, well. uh, thanks for watching. That's it for today. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.